Welcome to Well.com. Today I'm going to do a 3G uphill plate with the catback ceramic backing by Gulco. And the plate's 8 by 10, 3 8 thick with a 30 degree bevel on each side. And we're going to weld it vertical uphill. And then we're going to pull a ceramic off the back and look how good of a root it put in. So today I'm going to be using the Lincoln Power MiG 260 and I'm going to go through the settings. And this machine has a lot of processes that it'll do but I'm only gonna go through the process that we're using today. So today I'm running at 185 inches per minute at 21 volts. So here you have manual MIG, which is what I'm, I'll be using. And as you get into these, you can push it and it goes, what are you welding on? And it asks you, stainless or steel? Well, we're welding steel today. Wire size, 045 is what we're using today. And then of course your gas mixture which is 7525. And then it has a metering for your, your gauge thickness. So I had it on 5 sixteenths, which really we're welding 3 h plate today. But since we're just putting the root in it with a ceramic backing, I got it to run, run better on 5 sixteenths. And of course the positive polarity. So you can see the machine is very easily set up and it runs very well. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to use the bowler. Diamond Spark 52 RC wire, and it's a seamless flux core wire with gas, 045 diameter, with an AWS spec of 5.18. Also, we'll be using the Gulco 300 GKR 300D automated carriage, and I got it turned up for this application that I'm gonna be doing. I got it on 3.7 inches per minute, and you can see the switch, it goes up for forward and down. Very easy, simple machine to run. So then you come over here to the oscillation part, this is the first time I've used this, this mode on it. It's got an ABC mode. And what it does is you can see that up here, it's, it's on a timer. So you set your oscillation width and your speed and it goes back and forth and it times itself. So what it would do is as you have it oscillating, it, it oscillates to the left and then stays there for a certain amount of time, however you set it, and then oscillates back to B, but I got B shut off because I want it to go all the way across to see, so then it times itself and then it goes back, okay? So it's very simple. I'm trying to explain it as simple as I can to somebody that's not very understanding of these kind of machines. I got it, I got A set on point eight. Like I said before, B's turned off because I don't want it to stop in the middle. And I want it to sweep all the way over to C and I got it on point eight. So when I turn the machine on, which I will in a second, you'll see how it oscillates. So I have the, I have the weld degrees on four and a half width and then the seconds I have is 17. So you can see how it oscillates back and forth and it's, it's on a timer. So you can adjust that timer by turning it up or down. So let's get started. So it's time to apply the Goko Catback Ceramic Backing. I've used a few different types of backing over the years and they're handy when you have big gaps and it's hard to get access to the back of what you're welding. By using this catback, you're gonna improve the quality of your root and it'll give you x-ray quality beads. It does that by depositing more metal in your weldment. It's gonna save you time since you only have to weld one side, but since time is money, it'll save you that too by eliminating gouging and grinding or having to rework defects. Ceramic backing like the cat back is used in numerous industries like pipe welding, tank, and shipbuilding. So as you can see, I installed the ceramic on the back, ran the root pass. Now we're gonna peel it off and see how it looks. It peels off real easy, it's non-toxic, and it works really good. The ceramic backing works really good. It don't get no better than that. That's beautiful. Get a close up, get a close up of it. Yeah, that did come out good, look at that. Woo, woo. Okay. Yeah, that, that come out real good. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, slick right that's slick. So in this video, you've seen we used the ceramic backing and how nice of a job it did on the root. And believe me, it'll save a lot of time not gouging or having to grind it. So anyways, if you have any comments or anything, put them in the comment box. Thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us, well.com forward slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, Join our channel and support the well.com community. See you on the next one.